Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. For a new donation deck, we're going to be playing some Spider Lux. That's what we're calling this one. This is uh, very similar to Spooky Mage Seekers deck that I like quite a bit. Uh, this is a viewer submitted list. It's a little different, so I'm going to call it something a little different so it's not just the same name. So we're going to call it Spider Lux because we're playing Brood Awakenings uh, in the six mana slot to be able to level up Lux and also turn on our different mage seekers. We got three insiders, two investigators, and three persuaders for the mage seeker package. Uh, but then of course with the brood awakenings we're also going Elise and we have Elise as like our early game card uh, summoning some spiderlings also. Um, there's three unyielding spirits in the deck uh, <clears throat> which you know, we'll see how we'll see kind of how unyielding spirit plays after the the nerf now that's fast instead of burst but it's still just an awesome card anytime you get to unyielding spirit lux uh, you can do a whole bunch of good stuff with that um one little change we made to the deck uh, from the person that donated had two purifies but we're gonna be playing one ruination um instead of the second purify uh, with there being less They Who Endure around currently and more Braum Anivia. Uh, I think I just want a Ruination. I think that card's really good. And especially if we're kind of going wider with like the Brood Awakening, maybe force them to go wider and then they play into our Ruination. That's that's the plan. That's the plan. All right, but let's, let's give us a try. Spider Lux. We're going to just be playing it over in Ranked like always and playing uh, five games and seeing how we do with the five games. And then uh, we just did a gauntlet with v Vladimir Brom. That's why you say the 11 games there. We just we played a, a gauntlet where you play till you win seven or lose two in a row. And we kept on alternating win loss, win loss. Uh, and we're gonna be doing the same thing with Fiora alone after this. All right, love re having remembrance. Um, we're gonna keep that remembrance when we'll get these other cards they're going to be pretty expensive uh, this is going to be an aggressive deck we're going to, have to be worried about might um, no we did not get seven wins we lost the the last one we lost to push those elusives I want to see the. I probably want. To, if I could pick any card, it'd be the five four challenger. I get the team of luck. Five four challenger. Darn. Hello, love. In the field, you call me commander. Still a tough card to deal with. Um, I'm not attacking. Let's see, because I attack, they block with Senna, level up Lucian. Um, yeah, that doesn't sound that doesn't sound great. Especially since we have Purify, like I can go single combat, kill the Lucian, and then their Senna levels up, and then I Purify Senna. Hmm. Are they just planning on Overwhelm? Alright, well they went straight to attack, so I'm gonna just do this and block. They, they should be attacking with these two the other way. Like, if you're somebody that plays Senate and Lucian like this, have your Lucian attack first when you have, you know, like in, in this kind of scenario, because I want to block Lucian. Like, think about which card which card do I want to block? I want to block the Lucian. So you, you want the Lucian attacking first, so that if you block the Lucian, then um, then the Senna will have the, you know, the, the card that you want to block, you want the other one to get the bonus of the, the plus one, plus one, um, and everything. All right, so unfortunately, let's see. How should we do this? If I single combat first... Then their then their other I, I think we're just gonna do that I so I could purify and I take four damage. 
this route means that all of the other Lucians they draw will be leveled up. That's the problem with this route that we're going, is that other Lucians are now leveled up. But I think that's worth it. If I didn't have, like, the Vengeance still, I probably wouldn't do that. I'd probably just let that happen. Um, but it, we still have Vengeance to fight over um, something else that they use, like, a bunch of mites on something else. My axe is red. Oh, yeah, they have, like, a Darius. Anything like that. Um... I'm just gonna vengeance that. We go withering will, kill that, block. Spider Lux. Spider Lux. Didn't play a spider or a Lux. Oh, uh cancel. We had some we had changed the pet requests. Alright, so we had Vaughn, yep. And now we have Gloomtooth. Thanks, Kordak. Yep, thanks for the change pet reminder. That was a good, interesting game, though. Yes, if you purify Senna, Lucian would still level up. Yeah, because it doesn't affect Lucian at all. Senna would still keep the name. Sorry, I missed that question from earlier. Uh... Cards weren't necessarily bad against elusives, you know, like Grass the Undying kill something, Radiant Guardian, get that life steal. But they're pretty slow. Um, you know, we want remembrance. Not bad. not bad either. Team of Luck. Yeah, got the best one. There's always a way out. Okay, so yeah, their hand was probably a bunch of, like, Navori Conspirators. That's why they didn't get to uh, play anything on turn two. So they didn't have anything to pick up. Would be my guess. Contain the arcane. What if I kill the Omen Hawk? I make it so if that's the case, if they have another Conspirator in hand, they don't get to just play the other Conspirator. Mm. Alright, not, not paying off. That was a cute play by me. It's not paying off. The Yordle here is with me. Hmm. Whew. They did have the other conspirator. Okay. 
Did have that. So it's probably good that they weren't picking up putting down that omen hawk bunch. Pass turn. Hmm. Well, I could vile feast. It's probably not worth fighting over now with them having all that extra mana to fight over. Guardians is looking a little slow. I guess they are at eight. It's been a good emote game. Back and forth. Today you are king. Hmm. Interesting. The keeper of masks. Start to appreciate a strong emo, strong emo games. <laughs> uh, nine mana. Hmm. The enemy. All right, well, we're gonna try to illuminate the enemy. Their will of Ionia. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. Or concussive palm. Just as bad. 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 Hey, Cabo. Uh, we took out one purify for the ruination. Do not fear the shrouded path. I walk your path alone. Yeah, we decided to take out a purify.
Well, I'm not very scared of Zed. Yeah, I guess I guess Purify is pretty good against the Elusives. We don't see very much into we're really think seeing a lot more like Braum and Anivia. It's not like Ruination's bad against Endure. It's good. It's good there too. Ruination it away. Zed's Shadow Shift. And Unyielding Spirits, you know, they make Ruination better as well. The unyielding Spirit, your thing. Your, your big thing doesn't die. Their stuff dies. Don't really want to unyielding spirit into uh, into Will of Ionia. We're gonna go. We're gonna go spiders, which will. Final spark, give us a final spark, and I'd still have I still have the grass the undying. Everyone here? If we need Let's that. Go. No more holding back. They'll never see me coming. Oh, I didn't get the Elise emote. Ah, oh, I was clicking. I clicked it. Just a split second too late. The superior tactic is to never give up. Didn't get to Elise emote. Elise emote. Sounds like one word. Didn't get to Elysimo. All right, the Noxus Elusives. Yeah, I guess this would be one for the Purify. So what happens if we Purify and... I'll keep Grasp. What happens if they, if we purify and then they pick back up? Is it still purified? You know, like, for example, like a, a Crimson Disciple, we purify it and then they use Solitary Monk, pick it back up. If I play Elise, I have to take tur next turn off. If I play Elise right now, or I just take the damage, then I'm able to Radiant Guardian next turn. Or not Radiant Guardian, not necessarily Radiant Guard, Remembrance next turn. Okay, it will not be purified. Who's gonna get in my way? All right, we want the 5-5 five, five tough. 5-5 five, five tough. Come on, Teemo, give me the 5-5 five, five tough. 5-5 five, five tough. Okay, we'll take a little scooter. 
Scooter the Moose. Yeah, Spider Lux has felt pretty good. I mean, it's it's just like the Spooky Mage Seeker deck, for the most part. We have we really haven't done anything with spiders yet. Um, but still, it's been pretty good. I pull the strings. They'll never see me coming. All right, killing one of these elusives. Is that worth it? That Elise emote's so good. Why why have I not used the Elise emote more? It's so good. <laughs> Alright, gotta decimate. I'm gonna play this in case they they're planning on playing a bigger elusive afterwards you know they have like the four three you know they could have had like the four three elusive afterwards Play this. We'll have eight mana. That's probably fine. To control their magic. Probably fine. Is it fourteen attack? Even with this, that's eighteen. And they're at 19. I mean, I could play the Persuader and then just play... You know, like just 6 mana worth of spells and level up Lux and then, then it could be 19. This 
would be seven. I'd have three left. It's a lot of you know spells they could have. Keep that from working. I think I should have single combated first. Probably should have. I was I was going for the win. All right, I probably should have single combated first. I was going for lethal this turn of, of level up Lux. But now we are we're weak to a lot of stuff. biggest thing. They don't usually have three decimates in that deck though, do they? They do. Alright. Got him with Lux. I wanted to do it that way so I still had my fast speed removal available if we needed it. Because then, yeah, even, even if they would have used Retreat, they would have taken the four damage, right? Like, so, like, that that laser beam, good chance of killing them. Okay. This is, a, this is kind of, yeah, like, I don't mind Ruination. But we're just going to keep the Remembrance and send the rest of these back. Okay, yeah, you have attacked against Nox and Elusive. So yeah, if, if we take out... Um, yeah, switch it back, take out the Ruination, put in another Purify. Because yeah, Purify is really good against Nox and Elusives for sure. So yeah, that makes sense to have it checked out there. That's a good one to hit. Oh, we don't get the attack token? Boo. <laughs> Bull Elnuck. Uh... I know what lurks in the shadow. Camera's lagging. Okay, I can refresh that. There we go. I see you. You can't outrun justice. Get her out from the darkness. I don't know if this is a good use of the Mage Seeker Persuader, honestly. I don't know if this is worth it. We got 8 damage in, so we got 13 damage in that turn. And of course now we have some ways to deal with Bull Elnuk. I 
I figured doing this would make it... Um, I figured doing that would make it difficult for them to take down my Great Horn Companion. So I play Brood Awakening. This puts, let's see, six, seven, eight. This puts eight power into play, so it just puts the most power into play. And now I'm not making another spider, because the other spider would be just a one one. It's 11. Six mana put another 8 power into play. Surprise, Surprise lethal. Alright, Spider Lux going for that 5 0. Going for that ranked 5 0. GG's. Well, I mean, it's not its not for sure yet. We're not 5-0 yet. Don't start celebrating yet. We've got to win another one. We've had a lot of close games. All right, more Anivia. We got Remembrance. Best card. I don't usually like Brood Awakening too much because they're gonna be playing Withering Whale. Brood Awakening does not match up against Withering Whale. But as we saw last game, sometimes you can sneak in a Brood Awakening. It was the really good part about having... Um, it was a real good part about having, like, the, the Scout. Because if that was just, like, a pre-combat thing, we play that, then they play, like, Withering Whale. But we attack with the Scout. They don't Withering Whale. They play their Anivia. And then boom. Yeah, I'll take the Scout again. Scout's good. Scout's honor. Okay, not bad, not bad. Nothing escapes my life. Be worse. Come closer. I don't bite. Alright, that, that's maybe my new favorite emote, the Elise emote. So good. And it's fun to say, too. Elise emote. You 
Like, I like having a thumbs up emote, but this one is just too over the top, and it makes it seem like it's this is like a condescending thumbs up. You know, I wish it was like an actual, like, hey, that was a good play or good job, like, you know, kind of thing, like an actual one. This just seems condescending. It's so over the top. Will I just play? Oh, Catalyst. Catalyst is good. Yeah, Unyielding Spirit. The card we want the most. Withering Whale, Grasp un Grasping Undying, the cards we want the least. Uh, do, 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 do. What do we want to do? behind. Looking like we're behind. With, with how our hand's looking. Don't, don't really care for any of these cards. I pull the string. So you're thinking about this, what about Swain plus Nivea? Play Wolf Rider, Ember Maiden, that kind of stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of good for your cards that work like that, and then Nivea's attack trigger does a whole bunch of damage and would level up Swain. Yes! 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 That was the card I wanted. That was the card I needed. Ready, boy. That was the card I wanted. The spirit of winter awakens. Six mana. Should be good. Obviously that unlocks would be a lot better. That's what we really want is that on y Lux, but... Looks like we get it on Radiant Guardian instead. Probably gonna use like Mist Call and that kind of stuff, Rekindler, all that kind of stuff. Um, I can't really beat War Mother's Call too much. I mean, we have the Ruination, right? Like that's like our our plan for War Mother's Call. And so that's why I'm, I'm hesitant to continue to um, develop more onto the board. Hmm. 
Yeah, no more mothers right now, but it could be rekindler, right? Like so. Rekindler is scary. I'm gonna play this thing so they don't get to just block with that. Maybe I just had let them draw into Rekindler. I know what lurks in the shadows. Banish the unworthy. Yeah, Wolf Rider into Anivia. That sounds pretty cool. Many tribes under Where's our... Banner. Where's our... Lux? That's the card we need. We don't need all these Elises, we need Luxes. I guess I just can't ruination right now, huh? Are these Trindomirs, yeah, I, I don't I don't really see us winning. We really need Lux. Like that's that's the like we just need Lux. We we can't uh can't deal with this with just a five five. Their their deck goes too big. Over a five five. We have drawn a lot of our worst cards though. A lot of Withering Wills, Grass, Brood Awakenings, even at least these are the worst cards in our deck for this matchup, and that's what we've been drawing. Hmm, that's not bad. Strike for justice. Come from the dark. I mean, it's not really that. Big. I mean, it's not. It's not that big. That big a deal for the the blocks. It's not. It doesn't really matter. We're still at twenty. Doesn't really matter. Snow, wind, and ice. I mean, if they had one less five five, they just wouldn't have wouldn't have blocked with the rekindler right there, would they? Or I don't know. But... Back the darkness. Stay back. All right, that thing has fearsome. Let's. It's fine. It does. It just doesn't matter. That's that's like my only hope is yeah, stall. They like run out of units, but I mean, we need more rekindlers. I need. I need more Unyielding Spirit, Lux, or not Rekindlers, Ruination, but more Unyielding Spirit, Lux, Ruination. Mm-hmm. 
Trindamir. All right, that's fine. Anivia. Anivia is good, too. Need those cards obliterated. All right, we got a Lux. Now we need we need an Unyielding Spirit to protect Lux. Unfortunately, we can't play both of those in one turn. Either. I should attack first. Trindamir. Thanks, old gorger. Need them to burn their Trindamirs. I bring the storm. Certainly hope. They certainly hope they don't have any way to pump up that. Retros. Mike, 38 months. Thank you, Mike. Stones. Banish the unworthy. That card's weird. No, I didn't. Yeah, I need to look at that Teemo Heimerdinger list um, and type that out. I'll probably play that tomorrow. I'll probably play that tomorrow. Do they just have all the... Do they just have all those in hand? All the Trindamirs in hand? Yeah, we are getting we're getting very lucky with this. Um, they're down to eight cards left. We're getting very lucky with this War Mother's Call. Hold back the 
this. I trust my instincts. Suspicious. Investigating. Quite lucky. Hmm. They just like refuse to play anything else. Gosh, I wish I could play Lux and Unyielding Spirit in the same turn. Not being able to play both of these in the same turn. It's making life difficult. We have 10 cards in hand. Alright, I guess we're passing then. Burn Trindamir. This is our time. Oh, they can have that card. Don't need to burn that one. Hmm. Oh yeah, I'm I am sure that they have vengeance. Absolutely sure they have vengeance. Six cards left. I feel like they should have played, I don't know, something over the past million turns. I don't know what, but something. Burn a Trindamir. Ooh, burned a Vengeance. Okay, well, they, they have cast one Vengeance. That's another Vengeance gone. As I feel, they return. She who wanders obliterates. Okay. Just gets rid of this card and that card. Okay. So what's my plan? Fight. Fight Ruination. And then Trindamir is really big. This thing would be a 12 12. If I block five of it, I still keep Detain available. Yeah, I can't ruin and detain. I think we're just going to be taking seven from the Trindamir. And then we have ruination here. One of Nivea's gone. This thing's gone. No, that's not a good play. Mm. Yeah, I guess it is a play. I don't know. I don't know if I liked this play. I probably should have saved that single combat. Probably should have just unyielding spirit. Unyielding spirit detained this turn. Yielding spirit detained is probably a better play. 
Because I, ha I had the opportunity to unyielding spear another thing. I probably should have taken it. Who would face me? At least the good news is all these Trindomirs. Um. Let the light guide you. Good news is we don't have to kill these. We don't have to try to kill these Trindomirs twice now. They they are leveled up, so we're only gonna have to kill them once. Wow, they're just passing. A storm approaches. Oh, their last vengeance was burned. They didn't have a vengeance. I guess I can't actually kill anything with this laser beam. It's their last turn. I got double laser beam. Oh, I can't I can't play two laser beams at slow speed. Just start here, just in case. Just in case they give us priority again. So I can go double barrier, get another laser beam, and then kill that. Just in case they gave us priority. Man, after this whole game played so well, I played one turn wrong. And that turn that I ruinationed, I needed to unyielding spirit detain that turn. So I have one turn that I did wrong. Never back down from what you believe. Stay back. Hold back the darkness. This is my choice. Never back down from what you believe. Can't stay alive. And this, this wasn't the best block. I ran out of time, but I, I can't stay alive. Yeah, we need one more turn. And they did not have a vengeance. You know, that was card that thought they had that whole time. They did not. See, if I would have just detained, if I would have gone detain, uh, yeah, that was, the, that was the play I needed to do. Cause I would have detained Trindomir and then Unyielding Spirit on the 6-5. I don't know, we would have been, would have been taking a lot of damage, but I think we would have stayed alive and they still had another Trindomir. I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if that would have saved us, honestly. I, I would like to replay that and see how that would have worked with, um... With having another unit in play, but I mean, they remember they had the ten ten and they had a seven seven hearth guard. They had a bunch of things that that honestly, it it may have been where we just had to do what I did. Um, 
with the Ruination. Close. Close. Okay. Um... We wouldn't... What do you mean, delete Ledro? We wouldn't delete Ledros. There's no way... Like, single combat? If we didn't single combat, we would not have deleted Ledros. They still would have had space for Ledros. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what y'all mean. Um, yeah, Unyielding Spirit doesn't doesn't give you two. It doesn't give you two lasers. And it takes up my priority. I wouldn't be able to. No, like when it, we had to play Purify to get the first laser. Because Lux is at zero. We cast. Um, we had to cast Purify to get a laser. Because we cast Detain plus Purify. Which that's seven. And that left us with six mana. I could have gotten a second laser with going the double Luxes. Which that was my plan. But they didn't give us another priority. Because the laser takes up your priority. It's a slow speed. Um, drop Brood for Atrocity? Why, why do you want Atrocity in this deck? What are we doing with Atrocity? No, this this isn't an Atrocity deck. No, keep, keep Brood Awakening. Um, if you're going to play Elise, play play Brood Awakening. I I always really like... Um, and, I, and, you know, like in the Spooky Mage Seeker deck, I, I don't play Brood Awakening. I play back-to-back -back instead. I'm a big fan of back-to-back. Um, it was pretty surprising how how well we stayed in that game. I, I don't think my opponent played it very well. They just kept all those cards in hand, and they just burned two Vengeances from cards in hand. I don't think that we should have been that close, but we almost got there. Um, why why is using sing single combat before the Ruination? Like, do you think that I should just let them keep Anivia alive and not, not cast single combat? And just let them keep Anivia alive. It doesn't matter whether I do it before or after. I don't know if letting them keep an Anivia was the, the right call. It was a good game, though. Um, yeah, good game. Unfortunately, with that matchup, Withering Will, Brood Awakening, you know, like these cards, Vile Feast, um, Grasp, those are those are our weakest cards, um, and those are the cards that we had a lot of. <laughs> uh, that's okay. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Spider Lux. Still went went pretty good. No five zero though. Unfortunately, uh, we start weird. Weird. Chat was celebrating a 5-0 before it happened, and so that means that it wasn't going to happen. You can't can't do that. Can't can't say that you're going to get a 5-0 before you do. All right, but anyway, uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Um, and yeah, if you're playing against a lot of like the Noxus Noxus Elusives and stuff, playing a second Purify over a Ruination is just fine. If you're playing against those bigger mid range decks like we just played against you you do want the ruination for that kind of, of matchup but anyway that's it here for spider lux so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video